This video conference is the closest Karina Ramirez can get to her ex-husband, who's currently serving time at the Fort Bend County Jail in Texas. Usually just he'd talk about the kids, you know, um, what, what everything's going on in the house. Fort Bend is one of a growing number of prisons and jails across the country moving away from in-person visits. You have the video visitation units inside of the housing unit, so the inmate doesn't have to move anywhere. You don't have to worry about contraband control. Of the 23 Texas counties using video visitation, 13 have eliminated in-person visits, which defense attorney Philip Hilder sees as a problem. Well, I think that the human contact is uh, uh, needed. I think that even though there's a piece of glass there, there is a human body on the other side. So, uh, I think attorneys uh, should be allowed to personally visit as well. In response to growing backlash, the Texas House of Representatives has approved a bill providing a minimum of two weekly in-person visits at county jails, but it's unclear if it will pass the Senate. Lieutenant Daniel Quam says video conferencing is the new normal, even outside of jail. I'm visiting my family through Skype if I'm away on business. And so that's a common experience, or in the military, if you're at another country, you're going to visit your family through video conferencing. As for Ramirez, she says she prefers the convenience of video. It's, I guess, the best thing than having to wait 15, 20 minutes for the person to actually walk in to sit down. Her ex, who goes by Danny, says that every now and then the monitor or connection goes bad. You just ask him to reset it, and uh, it's really no big deal. If there's a technical glitch, Ramirez and Danny say officers will give them additional time to catch up on their children. Jill Craig, Associated Press, Houston.